Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, leave what does not. <clears throat> okay. Where are we going to start? I want to start... Oh goodness, I'm getting drawn to these cards. Let's see what's going on. You got, oh, you got the water element and you got the fifth house. Now, I've been getting the fifth house in other readings. I think at least two other readings that I've done with these cards. I keep getting the fifth house out of all of these. And then you got Mercury Retrograde Reinvention. So this is almost like... I, no, 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 no. This is not a replay. Spirit would never tell me the same story from the same angle. This is a whole nother story. This has to do with the water element, though. Like, so this has to do with emotions. This could be water signs that are about to... Hmm. Water and creation. That sounds like baby to me. That sounds like, that definitely sounds like a baby. <sighs> okay. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, you know what? No, 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 no. I need to know more about this. The Scorpio transform, which is another water sign. And transforming is coming into life. Like that's assisting in afterlife. The, the thing at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can make that out. It's a lot of imagery within imagery. But they're preparing somebody for the afterlife. This is some type of birth, but like a ceremonial, like it's a it's a birth birth. Like it could be a physical birth or it could be the birthing of something new. And then you got the ninth house, which is faith. Hmm. And the first thing I realized I've, with this hand up, it feels like somebody's taking an oath. It's some, it feels like, to me, somebody's taking an oath. And this is the number 33. Y'all see that? 33. Somebody's taking an oath here. This is the only double number here. Somebody's taking an oath. There could be somebody taking an oath to spirit. There could be somebody taking an oath in some type of religion, getting initiated into some type of religion, uh, being birthed, being baptized. Um, this is a spiritual... How can I say? Because this fifth this fifth house here is a is a deeper house than people give it credit for. Every house has a spiritual aspect. Okay? And the fifth house, yes, it's the house of creativity and different forms of creativity and expressing yourself and pleasure and things like that. But this is somebody that's going to how can I say, be known. Like when they take this oath, it's almost like everybody's watching. Like all the ancestors are watching, all the angels are watching, all of everybody is watching this take place, this birth. Everybody's gonna see this, this oath. And not only do you have a hand here looking like it's taking an oath, you got, it looks like a Ouija board there. You got palmistry here. It's like you could be taking some type of spiritual oath. It's a spiritual oath, okay? And then this Mercury retrograde is at the bottom here. And we're in Mercury retrograde. Mercury does not go forward or direct until June 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe it went retrograde May 10th. Today is May 14th. So... I'm just saying there's something that's being reinvented here. There's somebody, maybe you're in some type of initiation right now. Um, and you're taking an oath. This is your, you're like pledging. Like this could also be somebody, you know, doing some type of like something that represents like a fraternity, you know, something like that. It's a lot of things. What you got? Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Somebody has taken an oath that they, like, they're ordained to take this oath. <laughs> they have been giving an invitation. 
they've been given this invitation. Like, you, okay, fuck an invitation. This is the call. This is the call, okay? When, when God calls you, you take that damn call. You take that damn call. That's not a call you want to miss. That's what I'm getting. And right now, y'all is on the phone. With this Mercury Retrograde, this is you and God on the phone right now, clearing this, getting this all together, getting that initiation, getting it all right. Because when Mercury goes forward, it's time to, um, you're, you're, you're in. You're in the club. You're in the house. You get what I'm saying? That's what's going on with this. Do I want, ooh. Oh no, this is a whole nother deck, okay. Let me get some of this. Yeah, I'm excited for somebody. This is very special. This could even be somebody graduating, to be honest. This could be somebody graduating or finishing their classes, getting everything squared away before you enter the next part of your life, which is definitely going to deal with other people and hopefully making them happy, hopefully healing them, okay? Because you're taking this oath. Like, for example, I know nurses take oaths. And doctors, they take an oath that they got to help people. This kind of fell out. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Now, because this, had, because this card has the word practice in it, and I was just talking about nursing and doctors, this is somebody definitely taking an oath for something that they worked hard for. Some, It's like you put your love into this, you put your heart into this. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. It's like it was probably hard for you. But you realize what it is now. You realize that the universe had to be hard on you for you to, to get where you had to go. And the love fell on top of the water element. Mm, that's beautiful. That's like, that's giving me um, Ace of Cups, like, like double Ace of Cups, to be honest with you. That's like double Ace of Cups, which is the fountain of love. Like two... Like you actually matching, like your frequency is matching with what it should be. It's two cups and they match. Like you have come into your own, you come into yourself. You have love for yourself, you understand yourself. Okay, I'm pulling from the top. Pulling from the top. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I told you this is something for you and the wider collective that you're going to be known for this. You're going to be helping people. I even see, I see the in the fifth house here. I forget what this is called, but it's like the, the drama face, the sad face, the happy face. I see you changing people's like... <laughs> like a lot of things you could be changing people's perspective you could be changing people's emotion like maybe they maybe it's a show right like you're you're about to be on the cast of some show and maybe people are like angry or whatever and then when they come in they're happy because you made them happy i don't know you know what i'm saying but you get the idea of what i'm saying you're you're changing people to a different vibration you're changing people to a different frequency when they see you when they meet you because of this oath that you took because this is the oath that you took. You have to elevate people in some way, form, or fashion. But you have the self-esteem to do it. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. You have the you have the love in yourself to express it. You have the love in your heart in order to pick people up from their from their level and bring them to a new level. Because if y'all notice in this card too, it looks like it looks like there's a it's like a, a different dimension that they stepped into. Like this was an old dimension and they go to the new dimension with the smile. And you have the power to do that with whatever profession that this is. And you're taking this oath during the Mercury retrograde because on this card, it says Mercury retrograde and it says reinvention. It says Mercury retrograde reinvention. And then you got the third house here messages and you got the IRA. You got some you got. Yo, you're you're definitely getting these messages during this Mercury retrograde. Like these communications, if they have not started coming in, they're about to come in. Like especially if you earn this, like you already seen this coming, you're taking this oath. You need to be, you need to be ready. Like in all aspects, you need to be looking good, feeling good, spiritually cleansed. Um, take a, a spiritual bath. Be ready. Like. You need to really do something for your soul, for yourself, 
Okay, I'm gonna pull from the top. Oh wait, that's at the bottom. It says relationships. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Now let me see what's that. Honesty. I can always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And Scorpio inform I mean Scorpio energy, they love honesty above all things. You're getting really good cards here because there is some, you know, dark cards in this deck. I'm just gonna let you know that. You're getting really good cards on all of this. But this is this is honesty right here. This is like being able to see through somebody. This is giving me like what's that? What's that uh thirteenth sign? Ophiuchus? Ophicius? Ophiuchus? I think it's Ophicius or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I know about that sign too. I don't play about that. That's real information. The people that's watching my video, y'all don't know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop something on y'all real quick for the people that's watching. Time is not the same for everybody. Like example. For people that's in Ethiopia, they have 13 months. And the last months consist of like, I think a few days or something like that. But our calendars are completely thrown off. Like the Ethiopian calendar and the, let's say the American calendar or the Western calendar or whatever the hell, that shit is completely different. Okay. I forgot why I was telling y'all that, but I thought that y'all needed to know that. Like... Why did y'all need to know that? Okay, I'm not even gonna go back to that. But go look that up. Time is not what people think it is. And the whole construction of time, like things don't line up and stuff like that. But like I said, back to this. Um, This is being transparent with your energy. Like knowing exactly who you are and experiencing that and sh and giving people that. Card on top of this we got surrender surrender on top of the ninth house which is i'm telling you somebody's taking an oath it says i can release my need to control you can't control this you know you was ordained to do this you know you was meant to do this you know that this is what you was made for you know that you can't deny the call you can't deny this call surrender and the faith yo if though if all that don't go together faith and surrender then I don't know what does. But this is somebody that took the call. And then at the bottom is grief? Why, Lord? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Maybe this could have been something that you went back to. Maybe you had to lose a lot. Maybe there was a lot of sacrifices that had to be made in order to get where you're trying to go. Or in order to have this, this oath. Or to... to, to to be a part of whatever you're a part of, it it took a lot out of you. Let's get some tarot on this. We got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Why would the Ten of Swords be on love, though? Let me see. Water, Element, Love, and the Ten of Swords. This communication is going to end something. It's going to end another communication. Like, if this is a new job, you are definitely quitting your job. I'm going to let you know that. Then you got the Six of Swords. Then you got the King of Swords. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is that energy like, fuck that job. I don't need y'all motherfucking asses. I can't stand y'all anyway. I'm, but don't do that. Don't do that. You got to be smarter about that. Like you can, like this is somebody that like, as soon as they got that job, they cut ties with everybody or they cut ties with that job completely. You might not even get a letter of re uh, resignation or nothing like that. You're not going to get that. Not from this king of, like, y'all need to see this energy. Y'all need to get into this energy so y'all can see for yourself. That's somebody that's ended something and walking the hell away because he knew that he deserved better. There ain't no emotions involved in this. Ain't no love here. This is straight facts. Like, I'm worth way more than what you was trying to play me for. That's that energy. 
Wow, that's why you had to take this oath. It was like you your only option was to take this oath or keep dealing with this bullshit. And you wasn't about to keep dealing with this. Not this not this King of Swords. This King of Swords is not about to sit there and deal with the bullshit with you. Nah. So let me just mm -mm. Yeah, they they canceled that. They canceled that whole thing. Whatever it was. This is even people putting death to relationships. All types of things. Like, facts is facts to this King of Swords here. Like, he's not playing. And it looks like him becoming a king also. Like, he had to put all these things together in order to become the king. This is how he became the King of Swords. is because he walked away from the shit that he didn't deserve. And he, and he decided to take this oath. And this oath definitely has to do with truth. Because people that can, can see truth, they can't deal with bullshit for very long. They can't deal with that shit. Like, people trying to play like they don't know what they're doing. The King of Swords knows what the hell you're trying to do. And then you got the Five of Cups. People going to miss you. People definitely going to miss you. And maybe you'll miss some shit too. Maybe. I don't think so. Not this King of Swords. Then you got the Five of Wands. Wow. It looks like... How people get sad and then they want to cause some shit. They want to they wanna react. They want to fight. They want to cause some type of commotion because you're walking away or you're putting an end to something. Like, they're very sad about it, but they want to they wanna cause conflict. They want to cause some commotion because of you walking away. Or just anticipate that the fact that you're walking away, people are going to talk shit. People are going to start shit. People are going to stir up things. And try to take you down and stuff like that. But that's just because they feelings is hurt. That's it. And then you got the Six of Cups here. You got the Six of Cups here. You are moving on to new soul contracts. New soul relationships that perhaps you met in a past life. But these are people that's going to see the real you. Because this is, this is Sun in Scorpio energy here. This is why this is pleasurable sex, like in relationship readings and things like that. Or this is soulmates in soulmate type readings. But this is also being able to see through to somebody's soul, which is Scorp which is sun and Scorpio energy. Like your truth shining. And plus you got the Scorpio card right here too. Scorpio card, I transform. So... Yeah, this is definitely deeper. This is a deep message for somebody. This is a deep message for somebody. Okay, you got the high priest here. I'm telling you, you took an oath. You took a serious oath. You've been given the keys. You took a very serious oath. Like with this this King of Swords energy here, like a person of truth, and this hand is up. Just like you see this priest, his hand is up. Just like this card with the hand up. The hand is up. You took an oath. When you walked away from this shit, that you didn't deserve and all this bullshit commotion that ain't got nothing to do with you when you walked away from that and walked into this oath that you took wait a minute you really did something when you did that you really did something you really changed something you really changed something like shifted something in the universe like when you did that, because these keys is here. This is the this is the keys to the door. You unlock something here when you did this. This is very much catalyst energy. Okay, wait, I'm done with this deck anyway. Let's see. We got the seven of swords. And there was a lot of okay. There was a lot of lies and deceptions going on that you did not see because it's at the bottom of the deck here there was some things that was going on that you did not see perhaps they came to light 
perhaps they did and that's why you walked away but this is about some type of deceitfulness or something that was just unnecessary like lies and carrying on and things like that like just unnecessary stuff just to to hurt you that's all that's the whole point that was the whole point of it just to hurt you like they wanted to keep things away from you they wanted to, there's a lot of things that was behind your back even before you knew it a lot of things but this reading is about this oath that you took as a result oh the devil card i'm trying to tell y'all that's the first card to come out this deck and what's at the bottom the chariot lord You had to come away from this. You are moving away from this. With the chariot at the bottom here. I know y'all can't see it. I'm sorry. With this chariot and a devil car here. You was moving away from this shit. Now maybe this, this devil card is trying to follow you a little bit. But that's not going to work. Because you're already in this chariot moving forward. But they're in, they're in the, the rear view. This devil card is in the rear view over here. And they're in grief. And they're the ones that was lying. They're the ones that was causing this bullshit. What's at the top? And then you got the Ten of Pentacles. When you left that shit, when you left that shit, the chariot's still at the bottom. When you left that shit, this is what you walked into. This is the oath that you took. This is, this is what you're going to get as the result of the oath that you took. When you left that bullshit. This bullshit. I'm just going to pull from the top. Like, you got the Queen of Swords and you got the King of Swords right next to each other, facing each other. I really feel like this is you and somebody else that is benefiting from this. 